two pins. And so we have two pins to close. We flip for uh, the beginning and it reverses at the end. So, Mr. Primo, you will begin with two pins and close the uh, Again, uh, I'd like to thank the, uh, the Smith County uh, Republican women for, for hosting this for me. And you probably got your money's worth by showing up today. <laughs> uh, I'm all about leadership. I'm open. I'm an open book, open disclosure in my life. I've had to do financial reports and lifestyle reports on a day, on, on an annual basis. Still have my top secret clearance, still work with, uh, with, with events and things. Here locally is where the action's at. There was a debate, the mean meant uh, that there's no need for military leadership here. It looks like we need some leadership now, and I'm going to provide that leadership. And I bring that with my operational background. I bring that with my uh, accounting and financial budget background. I bring, bring that with the fact that I've been involved here locally and I'm open and visit with people and don't have all the answers. I want to listen to what you folks have to say. And the things I'm going to do is I'm going to turn back the salary of the county judge. And I'm going to get a, 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 an assessment done, a road and bridge, and we're going to start that process. We're going to get a true master plan in place. And you're going to see tra true transparency in the budget process, and you're also going to see it in the future when transactions need to be taken to place in the county uh, commissioner's office, is you're going to see dollars and cents there. There's going to be a zero budget, aspect of it and all in all I'm going to be approachable have an open door policy and out in the community asking you what you think we ought to be doing. Thank you. Sir. Just briefly uh, thank you for, for the Republican to the Women for hosting this event. It's been a pleasure to be here. We've been here before. Um, you know I hear a lot of promises made because I've, I've listened to this political season, been involved in very various debates, not including, not necessarily my, uh, my position. Uh, people make a lot of promises. It, it takes knowing that position to actually be able to fulfill the promises that you make. I have good relationships with people in this community, and it allows me to take care of business of the county, and we do it in a good way. We have a seven-year proven record of success in Smith County. Uh, I, you know, I can show you all that success. We try to do it quietly in Smith County. We take care of business so that you don't have to worry about us taking care of the tax dollars. Uh, but everything is there for you to see. We do it openly. We just don't toot our horn enough, perhaps. Um, talking about zero-based budgeting, the county has a zero-based budget to the extent that we can. I'll tell you, when zero-based budgeting was brought uh, to the forefront in government, it was when Jimmy Carter took office, and that was a, just a, a, a complete success. I'm sure we would all agree. Um, in 1977, he introduced zero-based budgeting to, to uh, the federal government. It failed flat. Reagan ended it. So, so zero-based zero budgeting doesn't work for counties necessarily because there's other things too. Performance-based budget, and that's part of our budget as well. We have programs. You have to work on those things, make sure that they are uh, successful. So we budget in that way. We have uh, program-based budget. We have zero-based budgeting every year. When any elected official in this room gets their budget pack, they, it says specifically, don't base this request on last year's. Look at every item, because we're going to analyze everything. Give us the backup so, you, so that we know that what you're asking for is something you really need. So we have a zero-based budget when it comes to uh, your operational cost that we experience in the county. You know, I've lived here my entire life. I intend to continue to do so, and I want to be your county judge for another four years so we can continue the success that we've Thank you. All right. Yeah, let's